If you need to investigate or drill down into details, you can access web security analytics from the left side menu. So if I go to analysis and then web security analytics, you can access this report. I already have it open in a different tab, but basically this report allows you to go up to the last 30 days and it will show your attack traffic in a timeline of events and as well give you a breakdown of attack traffic in this case. So you have the option to use different filter depending on what you want to focus your investigation on. You have different dimensions that you could use. Like if you want, if you're interested in taking a look at a specific hostname, specific path or URL, and then filter based on uh, WAF rules that have been triggered during this period of time, then you have the option to add these filters this way. You could also do it from here. So if in, in this case, I would like to take a look at WAF events for a specific hosting. I'm just going to select WAF to my filter and then go to the hosting dimension and take a look at this particular one. So you will see how uh, things will be updated or details will be updated based on uh, this filter option. Um, you could as well just go ahead and access um, a specific um, attack group or rule in this case uh, that trigger for this specific hosting and see additional details based on uh, this selection. There is also an option for you to have access to sample requests. So again, this is based on the filters that you may want to select and get ad additional details, like for example, time, connecting IP method, uh, the path that was selected in your filter, status code that was applied and the action applied as well. So if I click one of these requests and scroll down, you will see additional details. So uh, like header, re request header information, like host or user agent, response headers, uh, details as well. And um, also important to get details about the rules that trigger for this particular request. In this case, you can see this one that I selected has a has different cross-site scripting rules that trigger and you can also see the action that was applied. If you scroll down a little bit more, you will see the client details like the IP address, AS number, country, and more. But in addition to statistics and samples, um, customers also have access to the multi-dimension dashboards. So these are just to quickly share details um, and you will see these four smaller dashboards that you can make a modification depending on what you want to take a look at. So maybe instead of a path, maybe I would like to take a look at a uh, URL. Then you will see how this information um, will be updated. Also, you have the option uh, to within your statistics, um, if you want, would like to add a different dimension, maybe a host name in this case. And if you don't like these statistics default view, you could customize this on depending on the details that you would like to see. So perhaps another um, smaller dashboard that you could use in this case um, and make it your own default dashboard. So if I go to uh, save as new view, you can save this uh, view. You can give it a description and then just save it. In this case, under all view, you're going to see these custom dashboards depending on the details that you select um, and be able to quickly access. So that's one of the test um, views. And this is the one that I just recently saved. So it's just a convenient way to access information on what matters the most for you. Mm -hmm.